Callum, um, a really, really frustrating day for us. Would you make it? Aye, frustrating sums it up. Um, first half was was poor. It was slow. It's kind of what you get when you play beat on. Um, there's no. I think it falls on post Hoglu this game. I think that phrase of one game at a time wasn't actually looked at because I feel that he's dropped Kyogo for Thursday in mind because um, we need the three points in Hungary realistically if we want to get out of the group. Um, you need three points today, but right, you? exactly, and, and that's the one game at a time. Play your strongest team. Kyogo gets the goal. Um, uh, Easter Rhodes, so he's on. He's on a bit of form. Um, I just don't understand why he's changed it to play Cal McGregor one further but he didn't really play further he didn't give you what Rogic gives you um, and we struggled we struggled to break them down Livingston well I'm not going to say they were good because they, they, they were all right under shape um, the big boy I think number six that ends up getting sent off he, he bullies players he just he throws his, his arms and fists and that red card was coming it was coming all day long he was out to date in the first half and, and then on the referee and all, he was, he was horrendous. And that's for both That's that's for both teams. It was for both sides because there was fouls that he was given um, against Livingston that weren't they? Livingston were actually making good tackles at times. So I'm not having a go at the ref on just our party. Overall, he was terrible. The standard recently has been shocking. Um, but I just, it sums it up, was, and the penalty sums it up. Um, it's just disappointing. Aye, we, we didn't want the goalkeeper enough at all. Um, apart from the last few minutes, which we'll talk about, I mean... Do you remember us creating any chances? No, nothing. It's just it's one of the bad days at the office, and and in, in, in a sense, maybe we were lucky to come away with a point. But in reality, Livingston well, didn't offer they, they, they didn't get by the halfway line. And as I said, I said it to Martin off camera there that it's a sad indictment of where the Scottish game is going because we need competition in this league. And yes, people will look at it and say, well, you're just being bitter because you've dropped points. But in reality, I'm coming to watch a game of football and I'm wanting two teams to make a good game of it and see who can come out top. Livingston didn't come here to play football. They came here to park the bus and go home with a point. And congratulations, they got it. And and I and they'll probably be uh, and uh, Tony Macaroni, so it'll be seven points we could be looking at. Four points already after 12 games we've dropped to Livingston in the league, which is, if you want to win leagues, that's not going to win your league. You have to take care of it, especially all your home games you must win. And then you need to go to places like the Tony Macaroni, Tynecastle, Castle, Ibrox. You need to go to places and get wins if you want to win. And we've just navigated three tough away games, get maximum points, and we've came here today and done that. And thrown it away. We've thrown it away, so it's our, it's our own uh, foot that we're shooting currently right now. Um, but I, I, I think Paul Scoglu got it wrong today. He just and at half time I said I would take beats on off because Livingston aren't here to play to compete or play. They're here to defend. So why would you have him and McGregor as two holding? Even though McGregor's busting, it was so passive and left to right. Get the ball, go through the middle, or have a shot. The amount of times Turnbull and McGregor shied away and didn't take responsibility, and as captain he should he should step up and show a bit of leadership. We missed that. Look at Scott Brown midweek. He steps up. And that's what we're maybe missing at times. And, and you need that quality and, and that leadership at times to get you through games like this when teams do sit in. And I don't feel like we had that today. We'll get to the chaotic uh, last few minutes. Obviously, the boys swings the arm at Kyogo. We got a penalty and nothing. Like, handy to get out of jail card. Um, Jaku Makis hits the penalty to, to everybody's disbelief, I think, even before he took it. I mean, Juranovic is put two away brilliantly. And then he, he hits one of the poorest penalties I've ever seen. It's... it's it's just laughable because the, the, you're, you're saying to yourself, right, Juranovic has scored against Batista away, great penalty. Then he scores, um, he scores the other one back back here, didn't he? Um, uh, aye, Fenn and Farrows, he scores. And then you're asking him, right, give him it again, step up and he'll bury it. Um, I think he came out and says that he would like to take the next penalty because he's confident and um, I think he took the penalties for Liga Warsaw as well. So he's, he's a penalty taker. I don't know if Yakimakis took penalties um, in Holland at his club. But if that's what you're going to give me, well, you can get straight after them and I'll hit them if you want because that's horrendous. The step up is pathetic. It's like Jorginho style. It's that walking, slow, timid. It's horrendous. He showed the keeper his whole body language was telling him where he's going. I was hoping for a big Barry Robson, one big boot right down the middle, screaming, go right up to the keeper and laugh at him that he took three points. But in the end, the keeper's laughing. What an easy day. No other keeper will come to Celtic Park and have an easier game than that. Nobody. Because it was so poor and... And we've only got ourselves to blame. We, we never we never had the, the tempo, momentum. We, we just never had it. And I don't know why, because obviously, with points getting dropped, it was our chance in, what, 18 months to go top of the league for the first time in a long time. And there's no other way of saying it. We bottled it. The, the team has bottled it. And there's a long way to go. People will keep dropping points. But for us, if we want to be serious contenders and try and make a statement, you need to win your home games. And if we're not going to do that, say goodbye to the league. 